Okay, so we're going to have access to SAS on my app software page um, through the UTEP server. If you just Google my.appsutep, you should get directly to this page. When you get there, if you've never used it before, you're going to need to go to this login. Click on that, enter your credentials. Log on. You may have to click detect receiver. Obviously, I haven't logged on in a while. And then save this executable file, which is going to install the software needed for accessing this server. So you may need to install the Citrix Systems um, receiver. Go ahead, go through all the steps. Once you're done installing the receiver, you should get this message. Just click Finish. Now you have access to my apps on the UTEP server. Notice that right away the SAS I icon is there. If you don't see it on your screen, go up here to All Apps and then find SAS right there. Notice these two are clicked because these are two apps I have used in this My Apps website server. Okay, so when you, if you get this message, just open with the Connection man Manager. It's taking a bit of time. Just be patient. And now SAS is starting up. So I do want you to make sure that prior to our first class period on Thursday that you have gone through these steps. Um, oh, by the way, if we want to have access to our files, we need to permit all access. And then my next video that I also want you to view and understand prior to our Thursday class will show you how to get access to files within the SAS environment on My Apps. Notice, by the way, <clears throat> once this is open, you have full access to the program. In fact, let me expand my screen size here a bit. Notice that this is just running the full application. And so there's no limitations except for how we <clears throat> are able to access and write files within the SAS environment. And that will be the content of my next video. Make sure that you have access to SAS and can open this and have it ready by the beginning of class on Thursday. So see you all on the 30th of August and email me if you have any difficulty with this.